Today we're gonna turn this old slow laptop into a fast, but still old, but it's fast now laptop. Well hi everybody, Tech the Weeb here. Man, this laptop sucks. At least you'd think it does with how bad it runs. This is my cousin's laptop. It's an HP 17G119DX. I was visiting him and he turned it on and it took forever to start up. It was embarrassing for him because, you know, I'm, I'm a tech weeb and I like to build computers and fix computers. My computers are always fast and good, unlike this sad hunk of stuff. But here's the thing, when I actually check out the specs of this dusty old thing, it actually isn't that bad. It should be running way better than it is. So I says to my cousin, I says, Cousin, don't you worry about a thing. Techdweeb has your back. And he says, who's Techdweeb? And then I have to explain that I have a tech YouTube channel and I'm a famous YouTuber. And I told him to subscribe. And he says, that's cool. He tells me about a bunch of cooking channels that he subscribes to as if I care. And then my aunt comes and calls us for dinner and we played Mortal Kombat while we ate our dinner, which was spaghetti. And I spilled the spaghetti because I got excited, which is the third time I've done that at their house. But yeah, the laptop. I, I, I'm gonna turn this old slow laptop into a snappy, zippy, ziggy, fast laptop, and you'll get to learn too. I gotta explain why it's slow, and what we can do to make it fast. And these same principles apply to any old slow computer, and you'll be able to do it yourself, because there's a few key upgrades that you can do to make an old computer feel like a hundred times faster. That's my TechDweeb guarantee. Before we can get into the upgrades, let's start this bad boy up so I can show you what I'm talking about. Th this is gonna take a while, <laughs> trust me. So I thought I'd make it fun. I gotta press the power button, and then I gotta try to solve a Rubik's Cube in the time that it takes to get to the desktop and open the task manager. Who do you think will win? Me and my cube? Or the HP whatever this is? But pause the video and let me know in the comments below who you think will win. Okay, all your marks. Get set? Go! Haha, <laughs> Tech the Weeb 1, Computer 0. In your face! Not my fastest time solving a cube, but I still beat the computer. We're still waiting for the task manager to uh, pop up here. Look, this thing is still taking its time. Like, I could probably go make a snack and watch a video by my favorite YouTuber Linus Tech Tips before this thing finally starts up. Well, we'll just give it a bit more time here. Okay, so finally up and running. Total time to get to the task manager is 2 minutes and 53 seconds. That's way slower than it should be. Honestly, I bet we could get this thing down to under, I don't know, 20 seconds? Probably a lot faster, to be honest. And it's not just the boot times either, it's just the Windows itself is just so slow. Everything you try to do takes forever on this thing. But it really shouldn't. I mean, look at the specs here. We're running an i5-4210U, which is a 2-core 4-thread processor. Running at a base clock of 1.7 GHz. It's an older processor, obviously, but it should still give us decent performance. Considering we're talking about basic desktop stuff here, we only have 4 gigabytes of RAM, which is less than ideal, obviously. But again, it should be fine to do basic Windows stuff and web browsing. But look down here. You can see the CPU is at the bottleneck because it's running at like 5%. It's the hard drive grinding away that's causing the bottleneck. Look, it's at 100%. Our CPU's just sitting around waiting for stuff to be read off that old slow hard drive. So that'll be our first upgrade. We're gonna swap out the old mechanical drive for an SSD. I also got some RAM. I'm pretty sure this thing has two DDR3 RAM slots and it should have a single 4 gigabyte stick in there. So we're gonna put in another 4 gigabyte stick, which will bring this thing up to 8 gigabytes total. But more importantly, it'll go from running in single channel mode, which is where you only have one stick of RAM, to dual channel mode, which is where you have two sticks of RAM running together which is way better for lots of complicated reasons that I could probably explain if I tried really hard, but you'd probably click off the video because it would be so boring, to be honest. Oh, and the battery isn't very good. Should we see how long it lasts when we unplug the power cord? <laughs> yeah, what a piece of garbage. The battery, 
not the PC. But the PC isn't much good with a garbage battery though, so yeah, we gotta do battery too. So that's our big three. SSD, RAM, and battery. Well, first we want to back up his stuff onto an external hard drive because we're going to be giving him a fresh install of Windows 10. Not Windows 11. I don't think this PC has a TPM WTF chip, so it's not compatible. Also, Windows 11 sucks and is for losers. So we're going to back up his photos and stuff onto this hard drive, and then we'll be reinstalling Windows from this USB key. You can download a Windows USB installer right from Microsoft. I'll uh, include a link in the description below. The first big step is to give this guy a good cleaning. We're just gonna wipe it down with a moist paper towel, being careful not to get any actual drips of water down into the computer or around the buttons. Now it's time to take this bad boy apart. You can look up teardown guides online if you really want to do it the right way or just have some help. I pulled up the teardown for this model from iFixit. Easy to follow along if you want to take out the guesswork. Remove all those screws and pull the case off the bottom. Oh, he's really fun to figure out how to do that, uh, let me tell you. So, we're gonna take it outside and give it a good cleaning while we have it all open here with my air duster. <laughs> Lots of dust and sawdust in, in this thing. There we go, nice and squeaky clean. So, this is pretty straightforward. We're gonna take our new SSD and uh, get that ready. We're gonna take out the old slow mechanical drive, obviously. Replace it with the SSD and slot it into place. And then we're gonna get our RAM ready to go and pop that into the empty RAM slot on the motherboard. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're ready to go after that, I think. Pretty uh, simple and easy to do, to be honest, once you get it apart. Okay, so now that we're back together, we're gonna boot this guy up with the USB key plugged in, and uh, we're gonna boot to the Windows installation environment and install Windows 10 from the USB stick. Luckily, because this is a uh, OEM desktop, it has the Windows key built into the firmware of the BIOS of the motherboard, so you don't need to put in your product key. And we're just gonna go through and uh, install Windows. It actually went really fast. And there we go, Windows 10's installed, we're fully up and running, so now we're going to uh, r run some updates and install the video driver, and then we'll give it a boot test, I think. So, Windows 10's fully updated, so now we're gonna fire it up and see how long it takes to boot up, see how we did. This is real time, by the way, you can tell by my colorful commentary. It's gonna be a little bit faster, I think. There we go, 11 seconds, look at that. The old boot time was 2 minutes and 53 seconds. Once we get it to Windows, it responds right away, and it feels great. So you see, I was right. I'm telling you, an SSD upgrade is the best thing you could do to get an old computer to feel like a new one. It's the only must-have upgrade for any PC, really. It's easy to do, so there's no excuse not to. Uh, the computer itself should not only load Windows and programs faster, it should also feel much more responsive because of that dual-channel RAM. Running your memory in dual channel is probably the second biggest performance boost you could give to an old system. It actually makes a big difference, especially for your CPU tasks scheduling, like running background tasks and making use of integrated graphics on the CPU. Just all of Windows should feel much more snappy. And yeah, it totally does. This is way better. This feels like a brand new computer. And it only cost us like 80 bucks. Even less if we didn't need the battery. The battery's a good choice though for an old laptop. It'll complete the package and make any old laptop feel just like it should. As if it's brand new. It's so quick and easy and cheap. And so there you go. There's no excuse not to help out someone who has an old slow laptop and you could get them running a faster machine with a much better experience for just a few bucks spent on a few key upgrades. An SSD for sure. Maybe some RAM and a battery if you need it. And they'll feel like they just got a brand spanking new computer. And if your cousin is like my cousin, he would never have been able to figure this out on his own, and he'll think you're a tech god that breathed life into his old PC with some advanced computer tinkering hacking skills. But all he really did was slap in an SSD and a stick of RAM and call it a day. And that brings us to the end. Please let me know in the comments below. Was this easy to follow along? Do you have any questions? Do you have any tips or tricks for getting old computers running well again? I'd love to hear from you down there. And while you're down there, give me a thumbs up if you like the video, or a thumbs down if you think my cousin is better than me in Mortal Kombat. Actually, don't do that. He probably is better than me, to be honest. Just give me a thumbs up.
and subscribe. I make silly and sometimes informative computer and game tech videos. I'd love for you to come back sometime. I'm Tech Dweeb. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.